All right, everybody, campground review time again. This time we are at Camp Carlson, which is Fort Knox, Kentucky. And no, we haven't seen any gold. You make me understand this place in a whole different way. You make me want to live this life to the fullest, to the fullest. No gold nowhere uh, I went to Fort Knox to the front gate and asked him for my share of the gold and the guy just looked at me and laughed so here we go we're coming in to Camp Carlson here with their 53 RV sites over on the right is a bunch of tent camping areas which include a picnic table and a grill it is a 14 foot clearance to come in here yeah that entryway we just went through 14 feet. You probably can go the other road, but we don't know for sure. <clears throat> yeah, we'll check that out. We are not staying here. We almost stayed here. We called to see if we could stay. And they said, sure, come on, we'll find a spot for you. And they didn't sound like they had a lot of spots available by the way the person was talking. But as you'll see as we drive through here today, there's a lot of spots. <laughs> All the spots are gravel. Full hookup. Big, big, big note here. Now I'm glad we didn't stay here for this one reason only. No internet, none. Um, we have a big zero on AT&T and another big zero on Verizon bars. So we got nothing. That's why you don't hear any music playing in the background because we don't have any Wi-Fi. Um, but the sites look pretty level. That was a camp post. Yeah, that was a camp post we just passed. Been here a while. Yeah, the camp. Camp host has been here quite a while. But pretty roomy. These are nice level campsites. They say they're all gravel, but that one we just passed was actually concrete, and so are the ones up here. But I'm just reading off their website, and that's what they said. It looks like it's party time here. So we're gonna not join in the party. Because we don't party all the time like that anymore. Here, this building on the right is the combination everything building. It is bathrooms, showers, uh, laundry room, a full kitchen, um, game room, etc. So, might as well go to the bathroom now, huh? Let's go check out the bathroom. Here's a nice rec area. Kitchen area. Here's ready for the laundry room. Lots of room in this laundry room. Dollar to wash, dollar to dry. There's the women's room. And let's go take a quick peek inside the men's room. Well, nice bathroom and laundry facilities. I like that kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen was pretty nice. <clears throat> I didn't open the microwave because honestly, I was afraid to. Or open the fridge. You know how these things are with the with community fridges and, and microwaves. I wouldn't have used it, but if you're tent camping, it'd be great. Yeah, but tent camping is way over there. <laughs> sure. Here's the dog park. What do you think, Talon? That looks like a Talon approved dog park. Right, Talon? <laughs> she says, I'm ready to go. Ready to go. There is a 90 day stay limit here, unless you're the camp host. It looks like you can stay here for years. Um, <laughs> and once you hit your 90 days, you have to be out for 72 hours. Reservations are accepted. You can actually make reservations online, which is cool. Um, wish more uh, military campgrounds could do that. There is a dump station here as well. So if you just want to, if you're in the area and you need to dump, it's two bucks. But this is a long way to go just to dump tanks. Um, go find a pilot somewhere or something. 
Um, in in season rates are thirty bucks a night. Um, off season, which is off season, is November first through March thirty first. Is um, well twenty five for twenty five for uh, back end sites, thirty for um, pull throughs. So in season, those rates go up by five bucks. So now we're going to climb the hill. This is not on Fort Knox. Oh, good this point. Is definitely not on Fort Knox. It is. Yeah, this is off base. Off base. Um, it's by the base. Um, and now we're going to show you um, some cabins they have out here for rent. However, a lot of them are being torn down and rebuilt. They're building new cabins here, which is cool. Mm -hmm. And they also have what's called a uh, group cabin or family cabin rather or the group cabin so up ahead here there's a nice big building is Carlson Hall whether you're looking for a venue for a wedding reception or family reunion or an official function Carson Hall will meet all of your event's needs. Constructed in the fall of 2007, this large A-frame structure will seat up to 175 people inside with two patios for extra seating outside. The kitchen, capable of serving any occasion, is equipped with two restaurant-style refrigerators, a freezer, a tin burner stove with two ovens, a cold and hot steam line, and four microwaves. Reservations are required and accepted up to 12 calendar months in advance of the date of your event. When making your reservation, 50% of the rental fee is required to reserve your spot. Rental deposits are non-refundable. Gorgeous lake out there. Now you can't get to the lake from here, but it's a beautiful view in the back of that, uh, yeah. car, in the back of Carlson Hall. And honestly, for what it is, the rates aren't bad. <clears throat> uh, Monday through Thursday, $550 for one day. $675 for one day on the weekend. You can get it overnight for $800 during the week or $850 on a weekend. A two day rental is $950 or $1,000. Those are good rates for an event hall, especially one that looks that nice. And you don't have to worry about gates getting in and out. Anybody yeah. can. So the family cabins are gone. They're being rebuilt, as you saw from all the construction here. These cabins, we're gonna take a quick peek at here on the left, are the group cabins. And also more tent camping. So the tent camping area straight ahead on the right. And I guess here's the tent camping um, restroom facilities. We will not be filming those. You can just let your imagination roll <laughs> with um, what it looks like inside of those. Nice big cabins, these group cabins. That's a playground area. A lot of grass for now the group cabins are pretty good too. 50 bucks for up to five people, $10 for each additional person, and um, they can sleep 16. Wow. That's pretty good. So if you have- if, Military style like bunks? Like probably, bunks who knows? Um, so and it said on the website about you, you know, great place for your um, scout event and stuff like that too. Um, this, so the, the scouts, the kids, would sleep in the um, yeah the, the kids would sleep it down here in the tent area and the adults could sleep in the cabin that's true <laughs> that's how that works so then we're gonna go over here and get a closer look at some more of the tent cabin um, the tent cabins the tent cabins yes we're gonna come down here and take a quicker quick, we are going to come down here and take a closer look at some of the tent camping sites and playground it's really a pretty area through here though mm -hmm. this is a very pretty campground now one thing i haven't seen i didn't notice it on the website too was hiking trails i don't see any hiking trails there and here on the left you've got a volleyball court that looks like it hasn't been used in a few decades um and horseshoe and horseshoe it is reserved picnic tables yeah but there's those reserved picnic tables way out there in the distance it is a restricted entry for pay yeah, so we're just gonna keep rolling around and take a look at the um, tent camping area. There is no shortage of picnic tables around here though, that's for sure. No, I mean, Shields RV Park could have used a few of those while we were in yeah. the beginning. <laughs> now they have new ones, so. I feel like I'm 
time on a hiking trail. Yeah, it kind of feels like we are doing a little bit of hiking here. Watch over that branch. Ooh, ah! jumped out at me. And that's die. it. We gotta turn around and go back. We're all gonna die. Yeah. Okay. And off in the distance, you can see tent camping. Even though the sign for we took for this road said tent camping this way, there is no tent camping down the road we took. <laughs> well, there's a few hike out there. Yeah. I guess this is part of the parking area. I guess. Depends on where you want to go. So in addition to these all these picnic tables here, here is another volleyball court. It actually looks like it's been used recently. And a um, playground. And some grills and some picnic tables. And... I don't know if the um, playground is off limits or not. It's still got the yellow tape, but the yellow tape's just kind of hanging around. Is that a crime scene? <laughs> like, I don't know, is that a crime scene or did somebody just say, you know what, I'm playing on the swings. I don't know, I'm not making judgment calls. That's right. Ooh. So, tent camping here is eight bucks a night. That's pretty good. They also have a 90 day stay limit for tent camping. And there's also a fire ring, according to the website, for the tent camping sites. Since there's several different no reservations camping required. sites, I'm, I'm not sure what one We'll go over it this way. Yep. It looks like you can actually drive to those. You can. So you're right. That road down there. Ah, can't get this way. No. This road is closed. So I'll be backing up. The road is closed on one end. On one end. Yeah. <laughs> you know, why not? So some cool things to do if you're in the um, Fort Knox area and staying here at Camp Carlson is, of course, you've got to go to the Patton Museum. You just got to. It. You, you drive by it to get here. Well, depending on which way you come from. You drive by it to get here. It's awesome. Um, and we're gonna show you a quick clip of the of that. Patton cared way more about his troops than many commanders before him and most commanders after him, which is kind of a sad thing to say because you would hope they would learn from the example that Patton gave about caring for their troops. Some do, some don't. Let's see what else we can see. Also, there's some cool things like a, the Kentucky Pocket Knife Museum, mm -hmm. which is conveniently located right next to a distillery. So Boundary Oaks Distillery, so go check out Boundary Oak Distillery. Um, the Cannonball House in Elizabethtown, which is kind of weird, look it up. Um, we're gonna have a video on all this stuff, separate video, we'll put a link to that. Um, it's gonna be out not too long after this video. So let's take a closer peek at these tent camping sites. Now one thing I like about these tent camping sites already is the fact that they do have level pads for the tents and the fire ring like I mentioned and the grill and the picnic table. They also have trash cans right by all of these. So the campers can get rid of their trash without having to hump it somewhere. That's cool and a lot of these have um, they don't have water for the individual sites, but they just have water randomly put around, which I'm sure, which I'm sure some of the tent campers would claim as their own um, at times. But you know, it's it's the water's for everybody. Again, another drawback: they put the tent campers way out here. Here's the restroom facility for the tent campers. No video required of that either. And there's a couple of people camping. We just passed one. Here's here's another one coming up here. It was 28 degrees last night. Uh, granted, this is the, uh, well, April 25th. We're filming this, 2021. So, and it was chilly, pretty darn chilly. So I hope these tent campers um, fared, all, fared okay. But, I mean, this guy here looks like he's, he, he's in it for the duration. So there's a lot going on here at Camp Carlson. Um, looking forward to seeing the um, cabins though. That's gonna be a ways off since they're still clearing the land out from the old cabins. I guess the old cabins have been in really bad shape for them to tear it down. So, have you ever stayed here at Camp Carlson? 
Army Recreation Center. At least that's what Google calls it. Uh, this is pretty nice. Again, for us, not having um, internet cell service, I don't think they have Wi-Fi here. Um, there was it already scrolled by earlier in the video if they had Wi-Fi because I can't check my notes because I don't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> um, the the 14 foot you can actually go through the parking lot there or down this road. Yeah, so you, so you can't get you, around. You can't bypass sign. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, have you ever stayed here? If so. What are some of the pluses and minuses of it? Let us know. Educate us. Uh, have you ever stayed in the area? We'd love to hear some of the things you'd like to check out in this area. Besides distilleries, um, pat museums, and cannonballs lodged in the side of buildings. And big pocket knives. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't already subscribe to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's free. Ring that bell notification next to it so you'll know whenever we put out new content. And if you'd like to help us help small local veterans charities all over the country, please consider either becoming a Patreon member or a member of um, our YouTube channel. And links to that, to either one, are in the description below as well. Share this video out with a friend. Give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Leave us a comment and a notes below if you have any questions about this place or you've been here and you're going to educate us on some stuff. We love We'd love to hear all that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make your next journey an epic adventure. Bye.